Good evening. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Okay, well, yes. okay, thank you. We'll wait just a few minutes to get started. I see more people are logging in. Okay, so it looks like we have a pretty good amount of people already logged in. So I will go ahead and get started. Uh, my name is Sarah Gleason. I'm the director of this year's Southern University Swag Camp and Summer Enrichment Camp. Um, and Dr. Williams is going to be over the Summer Enrichment Camp and the STEM Camp. Okay, so just a little bit of our program information. We will start Thursday, June the 1st, and our last day of camp will be June 30th. Um, our camp will run from 8 a.m. to 3 p.m. If you needed or need before and after care, we're, we can still accept and accommodate that. But before care is at 7.30 a.m., and it will be in Ms. Puller's room, and after care will last until 5 p.m., um, but we will not be having aftercare on Friday. So aftercare is Monday through Thursday. Um, so for our drop-offs and our pickups, our drop-offs and pickups, uh, our drop-offs in the morning and our afternoon pickups will be in the middle school gravel parking lot. Our morning school drop-off will start at 8 a.m. and will end at 8.20 a.m. Um, teachers, will be out there to assist opening the doors and allowing the children to exit. So please follow the directions of the teachers who are outside on duty. Um, okay, um, any students who, uh, afternoon pickup will start at 3 p.m. and it ends at 3.30 p.m. Any student who is remaining after 3.30 
will um, be sent to aftercare for a fee. Afternoon pickup will follow the same route as our morning drop off and teachers will help assist students into the vehicles but will not but be buckling students into their car seats. So please drive forward out of the pickup line if you need to park and buckle your child in their seat. Okay, our field trips, our field trip locations will vary this year. Um, I will be sending an updated schedule of field trips next week. I've actually been planning the swag field trips for Wednesdays um, just to kind of be able to go out. Everybody in Baton Rouge, I feel like, goes on a Friday field trip, and I wanted to make sure that it's meaningful and safe for our children. Um, and so I will be communicating um, field trip information at the beginning of the week next week, as well as sending out permission slips. And we will also be asking parents and guardians to join us on field trips. And so we'll be communicating with you on that. Um, students are required to wear their um, camp shirts each day of the week. And students also must wear tennis shoes. We have no sandals, no Crocs, no open-toed shoes are allowed. We're going to be running around outside, inside. Um, students can wear walking shorts that are, you know, no longer than three inches above the knee. And we're going to be passing out t-shirts on next Thursday and Friday. So we're just asking that students wear, you know, a school shirt of their choice until their camp shirt is received. Just any kind of shirt of, from their school year that they have already gotten. So we will be providing breakfast and lunch. Students are also invited to bring their own lunch, but just know that we don't have access to microwaves and refrigerators. Uh, we do ask that campers bring a water bottle and a snack each day. And if you're actually participating in our extended day option, you will need to send an extra afternoon snack each day. Um, our SWAG staff is, um, for pre-K, we'll have Miss Love, and we are going to be sending out supply lists via email, but we wanted to go ahead and get this out for kinder, uh, for our pre-K class. They will need a nap mat and to bring an additional change of clothes on the first day of camp, and these clothes will just be stored in the classroom in case of any accidents. Our kindergarten teacher is Miss Welsh. First grade is Miss Hodges. Second grade, Miss McKinley. Third grade, we'll have two third grade classes, Miss Boudreaux and Miss White. Fourth grade, we'll have Miss Whitfield. Fifth grade will be Miss Pooler. We will have PE. The upper elementary grades will have PE with Coach Q, and lower elementary will have Coach Smith. And students will also be participating in Spanish with Senora Kate and STEM classes with Miss Perry. Jason, do you want to stop here for any PR questions before we transition, or do you want to wait? Can you hear me? Do you want to stop here, Ms. Gleason, for swag questions or transition to enrichment? Um, does anybody have any swag questions right now? Exactly. Are the are the students going? Are the children going to the grade that they're going to in August, or, or the grade that they were in this year? It should. It's the grade that they're going to be in in August. Thank you. Thank you. Is it too late to order more order shirts if you weren't able if you forgot to order the shirts? Well, you already have uh, with the two with your initial registration payment, or you have there's two shirts so. Um, additional shirts, I guess Dr. Williams has been doing. Um, you can send us an email, and I think I responded. I thought I responded to your email the other day asking for additional shirts, um, but you can send us an email, and we did order extra, and we'll try to place a second order um, next week because it'll be in a holiday Monday. We won't be able to get those by next week, but we can. Um, you send us an email with the size and how many. And then you can go ahead and pay for them and we'll put the order in next week. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. 
I have a question in regards to the lunches that, that are provided in breakfast. Will we know in advance what will be given on specific days only to account for days where there may be shellfish or nuts provided? So we, um, at the school, we do not serve shellfish. There is no shellfish at the school and they are aware of nut allergies, but I we will double check with okay. them for a menu. But we have students at our school now that have the nut allergies, so they are aware, but we'll do an extra check and send something out to you all. Perfect. Thank you. You're welcome. And if your child does have any specific allergies, I know we already asked um, in our initial Google form, but if you wouldn't mind just sending another email just so I can be sure to get with the cafeteria ladies and let them know exactly who, who needs what. And just so we know personally, I know I know it's there, but just in case and to notify the teacher so we can make the teacher aware because I know sometimes in the summer they want to bring extra snacks to class and all that. So we need to let that teacher know that that um, that is a there's a food allergy there also. Any other questions about SWAG, which is the elementary program? This is for pre-K to entering fifth grade students. Just to clarify, the pre-K is the only group that'll need the mat and the additional change of clothes, correct? Yes. Um, Ms. Welsh, I think Ms. Gleason, she asked for change of clothes too for kindergarten. Okay, I'm double checking right now. I think it's smart to just go ahead and send a change of clothes for kindergarten. Um, accidents happen, uh, not, you know, even accidents spilling water and stuff. So it might, it would be nice to just go ahead and have that. I'm pulling up her list now. I'll get back with you on that. Okay, and the nap mat as well. Um, she has not requested a nap yeah. mat. So they do rest in kindergarten. Um, it, you know, I know our pre-K students are transitioning from being used to taking a nap in pre-K to, um, I'm double checking right now, extra uniform top, bottom socks, undergarments, and a labeled Ziploc bags. Um, but they will not actually be like laying on the nap mat to take a nap. They will just kind of be resting at their desk. Um, just to kind of, we know that they were used to taking a nap in kindergarten, I'm pretty okay, but you know, kindergarten, they don't take naps. So we'll kind of just, she'll try to be weaning them off of naps by the end of the summer. Okay. Thank you. Um, quick question for third graders, will they need to bring their Chromebooks or will Chromebooks be provided? And yes. do they need to bring a book sack? Uh, Chromebooks will be provided. Uh, the book sack is optional, really, if they want to, you know, bring their snacks and their backpacks. Another thing I meant to put on here was we really are trying to have for elementary swag camp and no cell phone policy, um, especially like in the classroom. Um, I have pretty much called everybody. So pretty much everyone has my uh, personal phone number, but we do also kind of want to keep cell phones at home. But no, we are going to be issuing them a Southern Lab Chromebook that will stay at school. Anybody else have any questions? And I was asked to put the slide back up about before care and after care. So just if anybody missed it. And we are asking about um, prepayment for this. So if something, you know, whatever those days are, this is the amount you pay is for the entire summer. So please send us an email, some kind of communication to let us know if you need to add that. We, it's easier to not do a pay as you go, just so we can monitor the students. We wanna make sure we know, Ms. Pula knows exactly how many people and who those people are ahead of time for um, aftercare. So if you can please notify us so that we can notify her and everybody knows where everybody's supposed to be. And for in the morning time, um, parents will need to walk their child to morning care and sign them in. And then for aftercare, also walk, walk in and have them sign out. All right, we will transition to um, our enrichment program, which is for entering sixth graders through high school. 
So this program, just the explanation for you, the academic component is in the mornings, which is held at Southern University Laboratory School, which is math and writing. And then we transition after lunch to the engineering building, which is basically next door to the laboratory school. And we stay there until the afternoons. So our program is to create opportunity, awareness of opportunities in STEM with connections to math and ELA. We have two separate components. We have an ESI component, which is our engineering component that focuses on the careers of engineering and how engineering impacts the students um, through learning, sharing, and the growing process. Our other component is a science component. Yes, I'm sorry, we are done with SWAG Camp. If you wanna log off, feel free. Um, our science component focuses particularly on biological sciences and chemistry. We do add in computer science and physics also with the science component. Our enrichment staff, which is our academic component, um, Ms. J. Seals is middle school math, Mr. Jones is high school math, Ms. G. White will um, work with ELA, and we do have a high school ELA person who is coming on board and will have, will um, communicate that with you next week. Additional um, Support for our STEM program, we have Dr. Rachel Vincent Finley is the Associate Dean of the College of Science and Engineering, um, myself and Ms. Thalamus Marshall. Additional STEM staff, we have our Ms. Aisha Smith, Mr. Yuan Reed, and Ms. Layla Murdoch. We will also have um, engineering students, graduate students and undergraduate students, as well as other STEM students from the Ag Department, Biology, and I think Computer Science, and even Mathematics. So we will have undergraduate and graduate students to support our STEM activities in the afternoons. Some of our industry partners for the project, Federal Highway Administration, Louisiana Department of Transportation, BASF, Chevron, ExxonMobil, Stantec, and Urban Systems. And these are some of the STEM um, companies who are on our advisory board for the College of Science and Engineering who support our program. I also want to bring up to parents for the enrichment program. Um, we have a special activity coming up for the last week of June, which is the last week of June, we have ExxonMobil carbon dioxide STEM camp, which is a partnership with Rice University and the Tapia Center. So they're actually coming in and will basically host their program for our kids. So they come from Houston, will be trained and everything on their curriculum, and they will host our last week of our enrichment program. So again, the students get different experiences, different exposures to different curriculum, as well as different scientists and STEM professionals. For our field trips, we typically visit businesses, government agencies, or private industry that are related to STEM. We also have hands-on activities such as laboratory activities, project design, construction, and testing. So for example, you'll hear your kids talk about competitions. We do a lot of competitions and enrichment. Um, the first two days is next week, or basically we do competitions all day. So we have STEM, I mean, egg drop competition. We build catapults and everything for us is a prize. So that keeps them incentivized and it keeps them participating. So if you hear about that, you can always ask them what was their prize for the week because we always have a competition. For engineering, for enrichment, we do not have parents travel with us just because of the number of students. If we have space, we will let you know um, early if that is available because most times for our um, visits, we are limited on space. So for example, when we visit Chevron, we can only have 25 people. So that 25 people, it can only be students and chaperones um, who are the staff that are working with the program. For the SWAG program, and I'm responding to the comment in the chat, for the SWAG program, again, like Ms. Gleason said, she will communicate that to parents if when those field trips are and what are the procedures for parents or guardians to join. So our engineering, just to give you an idea of the projects for enrichment, we do engineering projects such as bridges, cars, Forensic projects in the biology lab, STEM problem solving projects, basically they have to create um, for the egg drop, they are given a problem and they have to create the cheapest but most effective vehicle that 
does not allow the egg to be cracked. We do um, virtual reality goggle activities. We have curriculum for that. And they're also exposed to 3D printing. And we'll also be visiting our new esports lab on campus. Our engineering um, enrichment students are required to do evaluations every week. This is for one of our um, partners. They require evaluations. They wanna know what the students think from the classes to the projects to the field trips. This is how we change up things every week. We will be required to have students have name tags. They will get them every day and return them every day. They must wear them every day. Um, they must wear Institute our t-shirts on field trips, but also every day we'll distribute those like Ms. Gleason said on next week. They will receive two t-shirts, just like with the elementary kids, they get two t-shirts. They will actually receive two different t-shirts. They will receive an enrichment t-shirt and their second t-shirt will be a STEM t-shirt. The STEM t-shirt is what is required for the field trips. But again, we'll remind you with that via email. Um, close those shoes daily. And I say this, because I have a middle schooler myself. No sandals, no slides, no slippers, no foam runners, and no Crocs. Those are not the kind of shoes we need them, especially with foam runners and Crocs. We, and I tell parents this not to scare you, but we work with box cutters, hot glue guns, um, different machinery and engineering. So we need all the, the foot covered in a closed toe shoe with strings or no strings, but no openings, no... Um, things on the back, they'll tell me, the kids will tell me, oh, they have it in sport mode so they can wear the Crocs. No, no Crocs at all. Sport mode does not trump tennis shoes. Um, must be dressed appropriately. Please remind your students they are on a college campus. So as Ms. Gleason said, no, I'm not saying that the shorts have to be, as they will tell me, Dr. Williams, we don't wear old lady shorts, but they need to be appropriate for summer camp. So please be mindful of the length of shorts for boys and girls. Um, sport shorts, just be mindful of those because most times they dip up on the sides. Um, just keep that in mind when your student is um, getting dressed every day. We do ask that students attend daily. Usually each week is a themed week. So their participation in those week's activities lead up to the competition. So we need them there so that they're a um, valuable partner in their group. We'll be sending out some additional stuff that we need back from you. Like Ms. Gleason said, like about the food allergies, you did put that in the form, but we just need additional coverage for ourselves. We're also on the computers, we'll send out internet permission forms just to make sure that they have permission, photo release. Our photo release forms are necessary because we take pictures, we use this for our reporting, we use it for advertising for the next year, and also we'll ask for details on um, insurance. Um, at the end of our enrichment program, due to our special guests coming in, we will have a special program for enrichment only on June 30th. SWAG will provide additional information. Again, we'll send this out via email. So just keep watching your email um, throughout the summer. We'll be communicating through the summer camp at SULabschool.com just because that makes it easier for us to see everything at one time. Because me sending from my work email, Ms. Gleason sending from her work email, and then we have some camp. So we're trying to coordinate all of that together. And also for enrichment parents, there is some separate documents that the Rice Tapia Center need for you to complete. And I will send you that um, within the next week, just so, and again, I know you already feel that stuff, but because they're coming to our campus, again, they have funding because they're doing this for us at no cost that they have to report back to their funding agencies. So it's demographic information that they need and also photo release information that they would like um, from you. And that is all I have for enrichment. Are there any enrichment questions or comments at this time? And for anybody left for swag, Ms. Welsh just posted, they will need their nap mats. And again, Ms. Gleason will send out an email directly to kindergarten. Um, Parents on, and um, kindergarten pre-K, I'm gonna send them directly. Um, also, if you have not made your payment yet, we really need you to go ahead and make payment. We have a long waiting list, um, people still wanting to get in. And so I think on Monday, we'll start taking some of those people off the roster that we haven't received payments for and go ahead and start filling those spots. So please, please, please make your payment.
Um, if you need to confirm anything with us in terms of shirt sizes or count, please just send an email to summercamp at sulabschool.com. And we'll do that based on what was submitted on the forms. Any more spots available for enrichment? We are at capacity because as we mentioned about booking field trips, we've kind of booked those. So our spaces are, are we're at the seams right now. So if anything changes, um, we'll definitely let parents that are enrolled in our program know first. But if you would send us, Miss, I don't want to pronounce your name wrong, Miss Precious, um, if you will send us, an email summercamp at sulabschool.com. We can have it on file. So if anything changes for the grade you're looking for, we can let you know. And I think somebody else had a question about um, first grade is, again, we are at capacity, but send us an email so we can have you if something changes and we um, have people, because we have had people change their minds. So we can... Um, for before care and after care, you can use the same Easy Ticks link to make those payments. Dr. Williams, do the um, enrichment uh, kids need to wear their shirts every day? Some parents have bought extra shirts. They want us to wear them every day, but I know it's middle and high school, so they kind of don't. <laughs> <laughs> they don't want to wear them every day, but it just helps us keep track of the That's students. fine. Yeah, so it they don't like to I always get tell I'm lame because I make them wear them, but it will be helpful if they do. Also, if you do go on the easy tick site to like add before aftercare, it's perfectly fine. Also, shoot us an email at summercamp at sulabschool.com because we have to, to be able to access who's paid for that. We have to go through uh, Coach Salisby. And so if we go ahead and know that you paid for it up front. Uh, we can go ahead and put you on that before and after care roster. Uh, it just kind of helps us to go ahead and, you know, let it, it helps to let us know. And also, if you're making a payment now, if you end up, we get it, get off to the link and you make a payment tonight, if you'll go ahead and shoot us like a quick email at summercamp at sclovescool.com, like, hey, I made my payment online, just so we can go ahead and make sure we're tracking it. We don't want to overlook anything. Any other questions, comments, thoughts? I have a quick question, Ms. Williams. Um, I came in about five minutes late. Are y'all gonna post the recording? I didn't hear about drop off or anything. Um, we can send the link out, but I can and we'll post, we can send the slides out also. Um, but drop off is middle school parking lot. If you're um not if you're new to Southern Lab, that's the gravel parking lot. It's gonna be when you come down Swan Street, it's the second fence opening. Okay come through the gravel parking lot and you'll see it because it's almost like a covered area a little bit and that's where drop off and pick up will be um and regular drop off is 755 miss leeson um we just had eight on there eight okay eight to 820 and then for the elementary students they will come they will go to the gym for a few minutes and then their teachers will go ahead and bring them to breakfast. So uh, we will be leaving the cafeteria by 8, 8.25 to let middle and high school in for their breakfast. So anybody who wants to make sure that their child gets the breakfast needs to be there before 8.25 for elementary. And middle school and high school will also report to the gym. Yeah, that we'll have the side separated and someone will be in there to receive them. And <laughs> we do not have a NASA trip to plan this year, unfortunately. Um, we do have something, some other things in the works. So we're we're working on that. Um, but NASA is not on the list as of yet. Ms. If something changes, I'll definitely let y'all know. <laughs> Any other questions, comments, thoughts? You have, again, like Ms. Lisa and I both said, any questions you have, anything you want to verify, just send us an email. We both check it regularly. It comes to our phones. Um, this is the best way to contact both of us. Once camp starts, you can still use this email. We are always moving. So email is the best way to get to us because calling the front office, Ms. Augustus then has to find us, track us down. Um, I'm sorry. I, I I thought I put the uh, my question in the chat, but I sent it to someone directly. Whoever that is, I apologize. 
But um, my daughter is on the basketball team and she has started um, training with Coach Q. And so mm-hmm. there's some days. So what is the procedure or is it allowed? What What do I need to do in order for her to either be excused or not be excused? Or- so which, what grade is she in? She's seventh grade. Okay, so we just need to communicate that with the times. Just send us an email so we can communicate that and also tell Coach Q to let us know so that we know where she is at all times. If she's supposed to be with us, if she's supposed to be with her, we just want to make sure we have a specific location for her. So if you could put that in the email to us, that will be helpful. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. So there's a question for dress code. T-shirts, we will um, I do our best to get those out next week. Dress code is just casual clothes, shorts. No, no Crocs, no slides, no foam runners, no slippers. They have to wear tennis shoes, something that is completely closed toe. No sandals. Um, well, the swag has enrichment. So yes, swag, it has built in enrichment. The middle and high school is just called summer enrichment. And STEM, just, that's just the, what it's named. But swag is also enrichment for the students. Did I answer? I'm not sure. Did I answer your question? Okay. Yeah, the students will receive the enrichment part uh, at the beginning of the day. We'll have a reading block in the LA block, and then we'll be having STEM and Agile. Regional Spark Records. Anybody go? Thank you. Any other questions? Yes, registration came with two shirts. So the before care and after care, it's just a one time payment. Mm hmm. And it covers the, so it's not weekly. So you once you pay at one time, you're covered for the entire camp. Or field trip. Um, we are planning one field trip a week. Um, and for swag elementary, we're planning them on Wednesday. We might actually have one Thursday field trip to Lafayette, but right now everything is on the books for Wednesday and enrichment y'all, they will be going on Friday. Yes. Um, the email for June 2nd, you can send an email just so we know, um, the, the, go ahead, go ahead and send an email to SC, uh, summer camp at sclabschool.com so we can go ahead and communicate with the teacher. So they just know that your child will be coming later and then cash for um i will go ahead and say this right now for um the swag camp any museum or any place that we're visiting when it says do you want the option to visit the gift store i have chosen no um there's too many you know young kids with too much money and i just we just we've had students lose money before in the past it's just better and the field trips are already paid for um with your enrollment fee. So you won't we won't be asking any for any more additional money for field trips. For students. Parents may have to Yeah, parents may have to uh pay for like the chaperone fee, like the entrance into like the Blue Zoo or the Arts and Science Museum. And then the enrichment camp is going to do their field trips on Fridays. Swag mm-hmm. will do theirs on Wednesdays. Pricing on aftercare is on the easy tick site, but I can tell you right now. It's $60. $60. So it's $60 for before care and then $60 for aftercare. And it's not $60 a week. It's $60. Yes, I can provide that link. It's $60 for the entire camp. Yes, per kid. That's correct. Let's see. You got a Yes. Yeah. I got it. And like I said, if you're paying tonight, that's great. We don't mind. Just shoot us an email so we know, just so we can document on our end that um, you were paid for. Yes. And it'll tell your child. So once you uh, put like you want to have before care and after care and you put it in your cart and you go to check out, you'll put all your child's information in again. And so we'll know who you're paying for. Yes, we can get an FAQ. And email it out. Any more questions? 
Yes. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Um, yes, I was saying I need um before care for one week. I would still have to pay the full 16 for the whole summer. Just send us an email and we'll have to figure that out because um we'll have to there's no way on us for us to set up a different payment link. So just send us an email so we know exactly and we'll provide additional information. Thank you so much. You're welcome. No problem. Anybody else? Um, first, why can't the information for the field trips will be coming at the beginning of the week next week. I have three out of the four weeks already booked up and I'm waiting to hear um, back from the last people. Um, and there is no camp in July. It's only June. The kids will be, we should be able to pick up the shirts on Tuesday. Um, we'll be working to sort them and pass them out and sending them home on Thursday and Friday. Um, we know the first day of camp can be a little crazy. So for sure, we're hoping for everyone to have all their shirts on Friday or by Friday. And so kids can wear just any school shirt. Like if they go to Southern Lab, they can wear any Southern Lab t-shirt. If they go to a different school, any school shirt of their choice. Anybody else? Thank you. And like I said, um, if you have any questions, the easiest way to get a quick answer is to um, email summercamp at sdlabschool.com. Dr. Williams and I are both always checking it. Um, and one of us will reply pretty quickly whenever we see it. I did have a question. I'm sorry. Um, is the $60 for the whole summer for aftercare? For the entire month of June. Okay. Yeah, because we, we don't have camp in July. Like camp is from June 1st to June 30th. Okay. Um, and, am I still able to pay for that? Yes. If you, um, the Easy Ticks Leak, Dr. Williams posted it in the um, chat. And so uh, if you if you do want to per purchase the aftercare, you can go to the Easy Ticks link and then check out just for aftercare. Um, but also send us an email that you did that just so on our end, we can go ahead and um, be able to like put them on the aftercare roster. Okay, will do, thank you. Um, we need payment ASAP. Um, we have, the link set to close, I think, Dr. Williams, sometime next week. Yeah, um, I talked to uh, the guy today and I told him that we would turn it off Tuesday at 12. Okay, so Tuesday at 12, we'll be turning it off. Just because that's the only way we can stay ahead of what's happening by turning yeah, it off. And if you're already on the roster and you paid your deposit and you know that you're going to pay on Monday, shoot us an email we just we're all about communication yeah any more questions okay well thank y'all for joining us tonight and like i said you can Put it in there one more time, summer camp at sclabschool.com. And that's for both swag and um, it's for swag and uh, summer enrichment and STEM camp will both answer accordingly. We will send out a FAQ um, and mass email the slides as an SAQ, FAQ.
And if you're not receiving the mass emails, please, please email me again and let me know. Okay, well, thank y'all. And we look forward to hosting your child this summer at our camps. See you on Thursday.